Hey, what is going on, everybody? Uh, so this was gonna be... I uh, love this scenery, man. Everything is just so freaking pretty out here. It's, it's, it's really great. But yeah, like, look at all the colors in the trees. Third video, uh, this is gonna be the same day. Just di different areas. See, like, that's cool. The rocky outcropping up there with all the pine trees on top. You get all the color of the trees and then just the, the green of the pines up there. Because pine trees don't change. Not like, um... They're, they're what are they conifers they don't change like these I, I don't remember the name of them i should know this but i don't so we uh i oh, hope that doesn't hope that doesn't get a copyright um but anyway so i wanted to talk about the bike in this one and you know possibly get distracted by the scenery going up and over the mountain um his bike is so fun. Uh, I just showed you in, in that last short video I had. If you watch the first like 30 seconds of it, you'll see I did mileage. I think it was what, 56.1 is what I'm getting for like an average miles per gallon on this right now. So I'm, I get really good mileage on this thing. And it's just, it's so much fun to ride. It really is. It, it's a torquey little bike. I mean, it's a V-twin, so that's, they are. But like right now, six grand, 53, we're going up a hill. I'm just below 4,000 and there, there she goes. You just twist it and it goes. I mean, it's got power all over. It's got power everywhere you want it. You don't have to downshift like almost ever. So it's, it's fantastic that, you know, you just, you, you've got that torque, that, that low and mid range power in this. You don't have to rev it out. I do. I don't know why. It doesn't get anywhere any faster. It's fun. I just like the noises it makes. Um, but I, I mean, it handles awesome. This bike handles so good for what it is. It handles, it goes. It'll do anything you want it to, really. I, I mean, you know, it's 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 one of the hard to beat for the prices it's it's a bike that a lot of people tend to keep for a long time just because it's it's a fun bike you can do a lot of stuff with this you can do lots of miles you can you know travel with it like i said you can do track days with it you can do stuff like this about the only thing you can't do with this bike well you can but you shouldn't it's very bad uh is wheelies because what will end up happening with with the way the motor is set in the frame uh you'll actually end up starving the front cylinder of oil if you wheelie it for too long i mean like a small like up and down and stuff oh too bad um you know quick up and downs that's not you're not gonna hurt it doing that but if, if you're holding wheelies it's really not good for the engine on these that's the, the one downfall to it i mean there's a couple others but like it's light it's nimble it's super flickable and that's why that's why people love these bikes they're cheap they're cheap and they're super fun to ride uh the brakes are kind of eh, eh, well you know they work they they do their job but it'll kind of leave you wanting a little bit more like i know it could do better i know it could do better I mean, I haven't ridden one without ABS. This one does have the ABS, so it's, you know, you're, you're limited by that, at least on this one, for quite a bit. And the suspension's also, dude, just had a bunch of bugs there. I was doing so good without bugs. One of the nice things about the cool weather, not as many bugs, great. Um, but anyway, the suspension's on the softer side, like, it, it's, it's got a lot of dive a lot of nose dive when you're on the brakes so that ooh, smell that fire i don't know if it picks up the haze but yeah there's a little someone's having a, like look at the view man ah it's so pretty but like i i mean i don't know how well it picks it up on camera but it's
it's fun. It's just, it'll leave a smile on your face. I, I recommend one of these for everybody. You know, I started on this. This is my first bike. This is my beginner bike right here. And I'm up to 5,039 miles. So I haven't been doing a lot of miles this year. I got like, you know, 2,100, 2,200 miles. No, 21, 2,100 miles on it right this season. Like the, the weather's been horrible, but absolutely recommend it. What, it. what is it like to ride? It is so fun. It's fun. It'll leave a smile on your face. And really that's kind of what it's about. Well, I don't really do a lot of hooligan. I, I mean, I like just romping on it like I did back there every once in a while because it's fun. But other than that, I just, I like to cruise. I like the views. I like the scenery, the, the sounds, the sights, the smells. That's what I'm here for. And that's one of the things, like, that's what I love riding a motorcycle. It's not the same as a car. Although, I don't know if it showed it. But there was like dirt road back there and like that, that's a paved one. But there was a couple dirt roads I was going by that are like seasonal. So depending on where you're from up here, we have seasonal roads. And uh, they're dirt, they're dirt roads. Usually they're, they're may or may not be ruddy and kind of rocky. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But um, just like, wish I had like a dual sport or an ADV bike. I mean, I've seen it done with these. Like, and I'm going to have to get new tires next season too. So we'll see what happens there. Maybe. But like how, how it is when you stand on it though, it's not, it doesn't really have the right position. It can be done. You, you can absolutely do it. I've seen people do it. But anyways, uh, all around great bike. Highly recommend you, you get one if you're thinking about it. Again, I don't have anything to compare this to because the last thing I rode was when I was a teenager and it was a Suzuki RM125. So there's that. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed my ramblings and my off track because I'm sure none of what I said made sense and I probably repeated myself like four or five times on that. But the sun's probably getting kind of horrible for you. So... We'll uh, call it there, and you know, that's just some of my random thoughts that I'm not very good at putting together about my Suzuki SV650. It's fantastic. So until the next one, I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe out there, and uh, see you in the next one. Ooh, I just got to give you this, this right now real quick. I don't know if you can see it. There's a nice little pond over there. Yeah, yeah, the house is a killer view. Anyways, all right, that's going to be it, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.